educación secundaria que continúa liderando y adelantando a los trabajadores de la educación secundaria. A lot of places here are closed, so I'm not going to be able to see around this place, around the, the Plaza Bolivar, as you can see over there. So this place that we were going to go, but right now, because of the protest, is closed right now, so we're not going to be able to go here. I guess they're just letting the government workers go in, but not the tourists or other people. Probably because of the protest, the student protest here. There's all, I mean, here is like so beautiful. I mean, the, this is like a really historical place of the city. The buildings are so beautiful, so pretty. The only problem is that we cannot go in here. I couldn't speak that well. It was so loud because they were speaking at the, the loudspeakers. And I couldn't explain that much about the place. Uh, it was, there was a lot of people and a lot of noise, a lot of protest speaking. So I apologize because of that. So as you can see here, they're just letting the, I guess, the government workers go in. Just not normal civilians can go in. I guess that's because of the protests right now. We're just like walking around here, exploring a little bit, and see what um, cool places we can find. Okay. And we are here in a street that like there's a lot of it's like a, like a market, but it's in a, a big street here. So we are just here in the glass store. I think. Uh, Amel Amelie is going kind to of buy something. She seems like she likes a lot of glasses. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you a little bit. Maybe it can be a little bit dangerous, but I'll show you anyways. Uh, here. I don't know this name street. I have to ask the people what is the name of this street. And like people, it's like a market. A lot of people come here to buy. I don't know if you guys saw that, but there's a lot of graffiti in those buildings, those uh, pretty buildings, and it seems like somebody tagged in the buildings. It's supposed to be like historical buildings, <laughs> and it, it's all tagged, a lot of graffiti. That's kind of sad to see that those beautiful buildings have a lot of graffiti in it. As you guys can see, like, like that is a lot of tags. So that's kind of sad.
It's probably because a lot of people are going back home too. Hola, hola, qué tal? So, <laughs> people are saying that hi. Wow, I mean, this is just crazy. So many people here. Like, wow. So this is the bus I'm going to take. As you guys can see, there's a lot of people at this time. It's probably like almost 6 p.m. and this is Bogota, so a lot of people are like going back for, uh, to their like home. But this is typical, like in different countries, it's there's all obviously like a lot of traffic at this time. So this is it. So guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to enter a bus. This is gonna be a crazy experience. Oh my god. Estoy bien, estoy bien, estoy bien. Vete, vete, vete. Jesus Christ. So you guys could see that. That was that was so crazy. I mean, oh my god. So this is how you uh, go after the bus. It's kind of hard. Oh, you have a lot of things. This is a station. Especially the, the part that the peop, those two, well, actually it was four, but I, I was able to record two, two person. That I think they were like trying trying to steal from us or rob, rob from us. So that was a kind of a little bit stressful situation. And also taking the transportation in a city so big like this is not that easy. It was stressful and it was tired, but it was a, it was a, it was a, it was an experience. And, and I can say that it was an exp, uh, it wasn't, uh, it was an a bit adventure. So yeah, I, <coughs> and I'm coughing, and I think I cut, I cut a coat. So that's why I'm mumbling a little bit when I'm speaking. Yeah, so I think I'll just finish the video here. And I don't know, I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy adventure of like, 
traveling. But it's fun. The most important thing is that it's fun. So yeah, this is it for today. My fourth day here in Bogota. Signing out.